Sometimes it's fun to head into a store and just look at all the expensive stuff you can never really afford. You know, like wood. I went to get some 2x4s and they made me valet my shopping cart by the lumber aisle. And that's not the only item experiencing a pandemic price surge. Used car prices were up more than 20% over the year before. And Consumer Reports automotive writer Ben Preston says they're hard to find too. Used car dealers just can't keep them on the lots. We're running down why used car prices have gone crazy and what you can do about it. First things first, there's a semi conductor shortage. A car can have anywhere from 30 to more than 100 microprocessors in it. Lockdowns meant less driving, so auto manufacturers shut down plants. And with fewer cars being built, all these semiconductor producers were stuck with all this supply. But with everybody nesting, demand shifted to at-home products like washers and dryers, kitchen appliances, and those fancy new thermostats, stuff that also uses chips. So semiconductor suppliers diverted their shipments to other non-automotive manufacturers. And it takes time to switch all those supply chain logistics back to where they were before. The analysts that I've talked to said buckle up for like sometime next year because it's going to take the semiconductor industry a long time to catch up. Of course a semiconductor shortage doesn't affect used cars directly but it's one factor that's creating more used car demand because people in the market for new cars were going for used cars instead. Then add in another huge non-traditional used car buyer, rental car companies. During the pandemic nobody was renting cars. Revenues fell off the cliff, so they sold off cars to survive the pandemic. Now, rental car bookings are way up, so rental car companies who also can't get enough new cars are also looking for used cars. So that's a big strain on the used car market. So we're in a perfect storm of interrupted supply and juiced demand. So what can you do about it? If you can swing it, now's a great time to sell. We're hearing a lot of anecdotal evidence of people selling two, three-year-old cars for close to what they paid for them new. Trading in a car is rough because you just kind of negate the benefit of the deal because you're turning around and buying another car in the same market. But if you're part of the new work from home brigade, some people aren't going to have to commute anymore. Maybe they could feasibly get rid of one car and make out like bandits. But hey, if you have no choice and have to dive into the used car market, shop the less popular models. Look in the dusty corners of the market. Those sexy SUVs, pickups and crossovers that everyone wants. That's not where the deals are. Sedans aren't selling as well. Smaller cars, minivans. Sure, you'll look like a dork, but a dork who can afford to fill the tank. And desperate times mean pulling out every shopping trick you know. It's really on the buyer to go out and see where the deals are. So check out different buying services, check out web platforms, call dealerships. And remember, these strange market forces will eventually pass. So if at all possible, it's a good idea to just keep the car you have. Riding out a crazy used car market's at the top of the list.